Hello, my name is Justin Besteman, and I was graced with the best initials in the world, JB, which also could be substituted for James Bond. Yay! So I'm going to be playing James Bond uh, 007 uh, from 1983. And so this is pretty exciting. The music is just awesome. Like, check out that music. That is, that is pretty insane right there. The 8-bit thing. So basically you play as like this all-terrain vehicle, like this vehicle right here, and it's based on four levels, loosely based I should say, on four levels of James Bond. Um, this one is Diamonds for Are Forever, you see the uh, diamonds up there, so this is where I guess you are trying to rescue someone from a... Uh, an oil rig. It's been a while since I've seen Diamonds Are Forever, but yes, that is the story. So Tiffany Case, so you're trying to rescue her. Um, now this gun does not do anything but hit those diamonds up there. Uh, that is literally all it's for. Um, it, 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 you cannot actually destroy these things. Um, I actually don't even know what that flying thing is. Like, that looks so much like an alien saucer, but uh, this is James Bond, obviously, so I don't know what was going on here. Oh, man. Okay, land. Okay. Oh, no. I'm screwed. Okay, there it is. So here we go. Got 100 points. This is exciting. So just very simple controls here. It's just space bar to shoot and then the arrow buttons to go back and forth. All right. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Oh, Man, that was exciting. Okay. So, yeah, this was designed originally by Char... Okay, so, yeah, so we randomly switched here. We are still in Diamonds Are Forever, so we're trying to rescue it. Uh, this is the most confusing level in the world. Uh, because sometimes those explode, sometimes they don't. So it's like a shock wave. So if you see like that, if you hit that, then you're dead. And then, like, for some reason, that didn't cost me a life. Like, I have no idea how this game is set up. But as I said, this was originally designed by Charlie Heath for the Parker Brothers, but they, I guess, did not like it. So they hired another company called um, On Time Software, and that company made this game that you're seeing right now from 1983. Oh, I'm so screwed right now. Oh, man. See, you can only go so deep. Uh, see, you can only go that deep before you resurface. Oh my, oh, he just shot like a shot, huh, ah, I just, this level sucks, all right, I'm going to be very honest with you, um, so yes, I really want to get to The Spy Who Loved Me, uh, because that's actually my favorite James Bond movie with Roger Moore, the Aqua one, not the Thunderball, which is still amazing, but, uh, the, uh, my favorite one is definitely The Spy Who Loved Me, I thought that they did a really good job in that movie, um, Oh, I hate those explodey things. See, sometimes they don't create shockwaves, and that's just so confusing. Like, this one's... See, that one in it. Like, why? And I don't, I don't know what that guy is supposed to be doing. And then he randomly explodes. Like, just so much confusing things going on in this game. Like, no consistency whatsoever. Oh. But... I guess in uh, 1983, this was a huge success. A lot of uh, people ranked it really, really high. So it did did quite well. Um, I really want to know what those swimmy guys are doing. I don't know if they're bad, good. They apparently are kamikazes in the water because he just they just explode. All right, here we go. Okay, and see, I randomly run into that thing, and I don't know what that does. Like, I've gotten there so many times, and, like, it just starts over. So we're going to do this one more time. Here we go. Okay, we're actually going to just go full throttle here. This is literally full throttle. Like, you can pull back here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So, yeah, I do like this game. I think it's very simple. Um, obviously, for 1983, this, is, uh, this was a huge deal. You can see it gave an A rating when you look it up. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a huge deal. I, I kind of like it. Um, I just wish these uh, in the aqua level that we get to after this, it's a little more consistent. 
uh, because, uh, yeah, sometimes they explode. You have no idea what those green guys do in the water. They're just kind of there. I wish this gun was a little more multi-purpose. You can't actually shoot down those things. See how that bullet went right through them? Whee! Oh, man, that was a close call. Um, so you kind of just are given a gun, and you're just like, hey, I got this. Ah! The other one that started with my name was Jawbreaker, which is very similar to um, the Pac-Man series. So I'm very curious. Ah! See, like, I had no chance right there. I'm very curious on um, when pa Pac-Man came out comparative because it was very... Oh, my gosh, I am so screwed. Ah, okay. Oh, this is nerve-wracking, really. I might have a heart attack. See, that one didn't explode. Like, I just want to understand the logic there. Okay. And I really want to know what those green guys do. They just explode. I don't remember any, anything in uh, Diamonds Are Forever where there's kamikaze, uh, like, swimmer people. Like, I don't remember that. And for some reason, I'm given this, like, black sinky thing, and uh, that accomplishes nothing at all. So, I have no idea. I... I'm very confused. See, maybe I'm supposed to be rescuing them. I, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, I'm doing remarkably better here. I'm very excited. See, what is the purpose of that thing? I just always run into it. It just like appears out of nowhere. It accomplishes nothing. Oh. Mmm. Uh, the reload uh, when you die is pretty forgiving. I'm kind of excited about that. Okay, I just want to get to the oil rig. Okay, I'm going to stay back this time so I don't run into it. I okay, see... Okay, I'm very confused. Am I supposed to jump over it? I'm gonna jump over it. Okay. So was it something that I could just run into? I, I don't know. Okay, so that diamond just disappeared. Um, okay. I wanna also, oh, son of a bitch. I also wanna get to um, the next one, which is Spy Who Loved Me, because I love that movie, and also Carly Simon sings one of the best James Bond songs ever. Um, the other ones are Moonraker, which sounds pretty exciting uh, if you're in space there. And then also um, the last one is For Your Eyes Only. So in the uh, second level, which we haven't gotten to yet, uh, that's the one where you have to destroy a secret underwater laboratory which is sort of like the movie. Moonraker is you have to destroy the satellites because I guess satellites were very important in that movie, but that was not true. Um, and the last one, For Your Eyes Only, um, the player... See, what is what does that thing do? Okay, sorry. The player uh, is supposed to retrieve radio equipment from a sunken, sunken boat, which is that movie. Yeah, they went with all Roger Moore. Is Diamonds Are Forever Roger Moore or Sean Connery? I think it's Roger Moore. But yeah, all um, all uh, Roger Moore movies. Yeah. How long does this last? Oh, I get it. I'm used. To, I'm supposed to use those to see the laboratory, and then jump over the laboratory. Okay, I got it now. So I hit that, it flashes, and then I see the laboratory. Oh, that was super exciting. Okay, thanks for watching.